Hello and assalamu alaikum students. I'm your social studies teacher, Ms. Sayyida Rakshanda Zahra. Students, as you know that we are learning the chapter Agriculture in Pakistan and in previously we learned, in this chapter we learned about um, the rivers of Pakistan, a river Indus, about, it, it, about its eastern and western tributaries. And students, today we, we will learn about uh, irrigation and its methods that are used in Pakistan. So let's start, student. What does irrigation mean? Students, uh, irrigation is the process of applying controlled amount of water to plants at needed intervals. Yes, uh, to provide water to the crops or uh, to the farms in a very controlled amount. Okay, a controlled amount means the uh, as much water as the crop needs, and at at a different intervals, time intervals. Okay. Uh, irrigation helps to grow your agricultural crops, maintain landscapes, and revegetate disturbed soils in dry areas and during periods of less than average rainfall. So, irrigation is simply when you supply water to your crops or to your fields. Okay, you can see two pictures here, uh, and these two pictures you can see different methods here sprinklers. Through sprinklers, uh, water is being provided to the uh, farm. And here also you can see, you know, uh, with different method, water is being provided to the uh, crops or to the fields. So there are many different methods to provide water, to supply water to the crops. Okay, uh, what is uh, uh, Pakistan's irrigation? What is about Pakistan's ir irrigation system? You know, Pakistan's irrigation system is one of the best in the world and it consists of a large network of canals. Okay, that is another way of providing water to the crops and can, they were constructed in the 19th century. So mainly Pakistan's irrigation system depends on the network of canals. Okay, there are different methods of irrigation students like dams and barrages, canals, wells, tube wells, Persian well, Persian wheel, uh, curry system. These are different methods through which we provide water to the crops. Now let's learn about dams and barrages. A dam is a barrier that stops or restricts the flow of water or underground streams and also you would say dam stores water for you yes it can store a huge amount of water in it whereas barrages are just floodgates and they are used to stop or divert the flow of a river there is no reservoir attached to the barrage okay uh, let's have a look at the dams of pakistan and their location students dams are built on rivers you can see here that on river indus tarbela dam is built mangla dam is built on river jhelum varsak dam is built on river kabul and hub dam is built on river hub let's look have a, a look at the position or the location of the barrages of pakistan uh, you can see here Guddu Barrage, Kotri Barrage, and Sakkar Barrage. These three barrages are on uh, River Indus in Sindh, whereas Jinnah Barrage, Rasul Barrage, Tonsa Barrage, and Chashma Barrage. These four barrages are built in Punjab. Okay. Uh, let's look. Uh, uh, let's have a look at uh, the barrages and uh, the uh, dams that are built on the river through a map. You can see here the river Indus. Students, as you have learned in the previous session, and its eastern tributaries and western tributaries. So this green rectangular box shows you the barrages built on rivers, and this red box shows you the dams. Okay, students. Here you can also see see green and red colors showing different barrages and dams uh, of Pakistan. Okay, uh, let's have a look at uh, the canal system. Student canal is actually a thing that uh, brings river water close to the field where it is required to be. And canals come out of rivers, dams and lakes means the water in canals actually they depend on the river water. Uh, dams and lakes and Pakistan's canal system is one of the best canal system of the world and huge network of canals in Punjab and Sindh carries water from the ri rivers to farm and field. Here you can see the picture of canals. How do they look? Okay, another method is well. 
uh, another method of irrigating fields is by digging shallow wells to reach the underground water that is really very obvious for you tk and you must have uh, seen uh, different wells also uh, then we talk about uh, you would say uh, persian wheel that is another uh, method of irrigation a large wheel like structure called the persian wheel used to obtain water from these wells since these wells are not deep so they soon dry up or become stagnant look at the persian wheel and you can see a wheel type structure here tube wells tube wells are dug down into the ground and a motor on an electric or an electric pump draws water from underground and stores it in a reservoir from where farmers can send it to the fields as required here you can see that how uh, do they work and how a tube well look like see okay karay system that is another important method of irrigation and you know students uh, karay system is one of the oldest known irrigation systems of the world and it is uh, widely used in balochistan if we talk about pakistan so in pakistan karay system is mostly used in balochistan and to make a karay well is dug on high ground to tap the underground water when water is found <clears throat> a tunnel sloping downwards is dug from the water source to bring that water to a target area downhill a series of narrow wells are dug at several points to help check the water flow look at how uh, do they work and how do they look like the karay system okay it's trivia time you know students that the sakka barrage is the pride of pakistan Pakistan's irrigation system has it is the largest single irrigation network of its kind in the world. Then we talk about Tarbela Dam, which is located in Pakistan and is the world's largest fill type dam. It is built over the river Indus near the small town of Tarbela in Haripur district. That uh, Kariba Dam is uh, the world's biggest dam based on water storage capacity. Okay, students. Here is a task for you that you are going to do in your copy. You are going to name the oldest uh, known irrigation system of the world, and then you will describe. Describe means in detail. You will write about the canal system of Pakistan, and you are going to make a list of dams and barrages of Pakistan with their location. For answer number three, I would suggest you to make columns, make a proper table. In one table, you will write the. dams and the second table you will uh, uh, write the location exactly make another table for barrages of pakistan in one column you can give the heading of barrages and in second column you will give the heading of location okay that's it student for today inshallah we'll meet up soon again so till then beta allah hafiz